Hello. Hello. All right, so we are live. Hi there, Norma. I'm just getting all set up. How are you doing this evening? Hi, Kathy. All right, so today's challenge, hi, Jenica, is going to be the Katherine Hepburn Spencer Tracy Valentine's Challenge. So I'm making a pendant, and I'm calling it the Movie Star Pendant, since both Katherine and Spencer were movie stars. And so it's sort of about their, um, I designed it around the fact that they're both movie stars and they both have Oscar winners. I'm doing really well. Hi, Leanne. <clears throat> anyway, so to start, what you want to do is pick up six super duos. Yeah, this should be really pretty. So, you know, the idea behind movie stars got to have a little sparkle. And so you got your six um, super duos. And what you need in terms of beads are going to be some uh, four millimeter fire polish, your super duos, and some 11 knots. I'm using my black wildfire 0 0.006. And I've got a size 12 beading needle. And I've got six super duos here on my thread, and I'm going to tie a knot. And bring them together. So you don't want to tie it too tight. You don't want it loose, but you don't want it so tight that you can't get through the beads as you go. So there's still some wiggle room, and that's how you want it. And Oh, thank you, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing this evening? So go through and try to keep the knot out of the hole of the super duo just because I need to go through it. So I'm trying to keep it sort of centered here in my thread. And I'm going to go through a couple of these super duos. Hi, Teresa. And... We're going to switch to the other hole and I'm just going to turn it over so I can work this way. And now between each of our, our super duos, we're going to put two super duos. And I am going to check my two holes as I go because I didn't get a chance to do that earlier today. So, all right, both of those are good to go. There's our first and then the next two. So we're going to go all the way around. There should be a set of 12 super duos are going to go in here. Two between each super duo. All and my next two, those look good. And all right, the last two. So go ahead and go through that last super duo and then continue through the next two from the next round. All right, and there we go so far. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna switch into these uh, new super duos, or not, we're gonna change holes is what I'm trying to say and so let's see all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fire polish 
where there's a super duo here and where you have this little V, we're going to put an 11 is what we're going to do. So I'm going to pick up my flower polish and pop that in here. Like so, and then pick up one of our 11s and pop that into the next one. And so you're going to alternate all the way around. I have no idea. <laughs> Kathy, I have no idea. It just sort of comes to me. Um, and the next one. And the last 11. Oh, did I do that right? Oh no, not the last, I have one more to go. Whoops. And one more. Now the last one. All right, so. This is what we have so far. Now what we're going to do is pick up Oh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. This is a passion. Oh, thank you, Yvette. All right. So for the next part, you are going to pick up 7 11s. And we're going to go back around the fire polish. Like so. And we are going to make a loop around each of these. So you just want to continue through your beads. You'll have to take your time because in the beginning, this is not completely flat. Hi, Julie. And you have slightly different angles going there. So again, pick up seven of your 11 beads, uh, 11, 11 odd beads. And go back around the fire polish. Well, hi, welcome. Thank you for watching. It's Kyla. Did I say that correctly? And so I'll just go through the first two and then go through the next two. And this has to do with how they sit. Oh, Kayla. All right. Sorry about that. Hi, Aretta. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Wait till you see the rest of it. <laughs> All right, three more to go. Oh, thank you for sharing. That's I appreciate that. And 
seven again. That's five. All right, thank you guys for the likes and the hearts. All right, so got my last seven to add here. Now what you're gonna do is go into that middle bead of this loop, first loop or this last loop. So you go into that fourth bead in your group of seven. And then you pick up a bead and you go into the middle bead in the next loop here. So actually I'm gonna flip this around this way so I can work Four millimeter fire polish. And we're gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna bring these loops down to the center. You are talking about these beads over here. These are super dual beads is what we call them. They're two whole beads. Um, there's quite a few now in the market, but these were sort of one of the first ones that came out that had two holes. So all I've been doing is picking up a seed bead and going through my loops. So I'm gone all the way around and now I'm going to Come over here and go into this next one and then just tighten up the, the whole circle. Now this thread is called fi uh, Wildfire. So it's um, a similar thread to Fireline, but not the same. And there's our centerpiece. getting it to tighten. Whoops, scattered the beads. So by the way, so this star has six points and the reason I did six points was because Katherine Hepburn had won four Academy Awards and Spencer Tracy has two Academy Awards. So between the two of them, there's a total of six Academy Awards. And so that was part of the reason why this has six points to it. Uh, thank you, Kayla. Yeah. Um, and so the next part, what you're going to do is you want to come out of a bead that's here in one of these points. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. And you're going to pick up your fire polish. And we're going to pop it in the center. 
like so. And then what you want to do is, so let's see, I'm coming out from this side of the center bead. So I'm going to go over here. So you want to go directly across. So I'm going to go over here, across, this way. And that pops it in the center. And then, oh, thank you very much. Go back up into that fire polish and then back through this same 11, but you're coming in in this direction now. Originally, so you kind of made this little small loop. But what's nice about this technique is you can sort of, you don't need a Monty basically. It sort of helps you, it's another, I almost never have Montes because I always forget to buy them. So, but this is one way to do this. Oh, thank you, Carol. All right, so I'm coming out. Get this tail thread, it's confusing me. Move that out of the way. All right, so I'm coming out of this 11 right over there. I'm gonna go back up. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so in the next part, you want to go into this fire polish. And so what's cool is you can see the fire polish through on the other side too. So that's what makes this reversible too. So that was the other part of this is you have, you can wear it two different ways. You could, I don't know if you guys can see the the sparkle of that fire polish coming through and then this side. So you have two different styles. So if you want a little more bling, you can wear it this way. And if you want a little less, though I guess there's, it's pretty blingy on both sides. <laughs> All right, so, oh, thank you guys. <laughs> now, um, one couple more things to do with this. So um, I wanted to make a little something with the bail. So we're going to pick up five and go back around the fire polish here. And you want to come up through the middle of that. And then we are going to pick up an 11 fire polish and then it is oh, thanks Tammy yeah isn't it um, yeah there's a couple of factors that I was playing into this Norma um, another fire polish and then the 11 and you want to come back through this 11 out here. I'm just going to flip it and we're just going to come up. You're going to skip over this middle 11 and you're going to go into the next 11 and then down the fire polish. And this will pop up in a second. I just got to tighten everything. And now I'm just going to, whoops, 11's here. And now you can put your jump ring right through in between and you have a little bit of your bail there with your pendant. Now the next part, I just want to tighten this up because you can see the thread there. So I'm just going to go down these two 11s.
And so I'm just, I just went all the way around that whole loop just to tighten that up a little bit. And back through Fire Polish one more time. And there we have it. So there's your center and your bail. Now I've got one more step and this next step is optional so you guys can leave it like this. So here's one side and it's reversible like I said and you can flip it over and wear it this way. So it's kind of got a cool 3D look to it. Um, one other thing that I'm going to do is add some points around each of my fire polish hair. So and the tricky part with this is because of the way the super duos are sitting, you're going to have to go through them a couple beads at a time. So it's not that the holes are tight, it's just the angle. So like this fire polish is blocking me from getting all the way through. <laughs> yeah, it came out pretty good, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Norma. Thanks, you guys. I'm so glad you guys are really liking this. So I'm picking up five elevens and just going to go back through this fire polish here. And then we want to just create a little point. So you skip the middle bead here and that should help create our little point. go. So that's what you get and we're just going to continue through the next set. Oh I do have some bent ones like this one's partially bent. But, you know, this is half the fun, is just finding the, uh... Um... I think it just comes with... You know, the thing is, I try not to think about it like I have to come up with something every night. I think I just sit down and just say, okay, let's see what I'm going to do... Um... Today. And I think I just try to go from there. I think if I start thinking about it, I'm like, oh no, I gotta come up with something every night, then I think I'll I'll probably get nervous. And um, so this video is still live, so if you can see the live box over here, that means you won't be able to start it back in the beginning until I finish the live. So again, we're gonna pick up five, elevens, and just go back through. And it's a size 12 beading needle. And I'm going to pop this out. Oops. So there it is. It looks, I think I like having the points on it, but I think wait until you guys see it completely finished. It looks kind of weird. Half, half of them are and some of them are not. So thank you for sharing Kayla. I appreciate that. We had about, earlier I saw that we had about 20 people watching live, so it's it's gotten to be a pretty big group. I think the first few times I did it, I had one person watching.
So when you do this, if it doesn't pop up, just pull it up like that and then give your thread a tug and it should pop up. So, all right, two more to go. Oh yeah, Donna, don't worry. There's, you can always go back and watch a replay. So they're, they're there, they aren't going anywhere. Plus I'm posting them on um, YouTube too. Just they're a little delayed by about a week. But it's nice to have you live and let's see. Whoops. All right, almost there, two more. Yeah, I think that would be so much fun. I wish it's the technology is getting there. I'm sure we'll be able to. Oh, thank you so much, Donna. Yeah, it's, uh, I try to make these to be kind of like quick projects you can do. And all right, one more. Oh, you think I should teach at the Philadelphia Bead Fest? Is it too late to apply? I was looking into a bead and button show that's coming up in June, but it's already, I realized that you have to do that like a year in advance. So I was supposed to do that last June to teach a class there. I think I looked at Bead Fest and I just couldn't find the info for it. I don't know if they had anything posted for 2018. in August so I don't know well it might be too late I might have to wait till 20 I might have to wait a year and there it is all right so I'll tie off the thread in just a second And I'm just gonna weave the thread here. Oops, sorry, knocked the camera. I'm gonna tie a half inch knot down here. All right, I'm just gonna do one, should be okay. And there we have it. Oh, absolutely. Um, I will post them, I'll put it up at the, I'll edit the um, description on this video page and I'll put all the colors in there. So here's one side. And again, the, the little CDB points here, those are optional. And here's the other side. So it's reversible and you guys can wear it in the, this way or the other way. So Norma, what do you think? You think Katherine Hepburn, this depicts Katherine Hepburn and uh, Spencer Tracy? Hi, Alejandra. Oh, thank you so much, Norma. Yep, I hope you guys like it. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like this one. 
Yeah, it's really fun and sparkly. Oh, look at that. I just turned the uh, fire polish and it's <laughs> it's mobile. <laughs> Thank you, Aretta May. Well, I, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed this. So I will see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.